Hey out there everybody, John Weber here. Um, I know it's been uh, a long while since I actually went to the event, but back on June 22nd, I went to Pittsburgh because Stefan Passis, the creator of Pearls Before Swine, was doing a guest lecture and sort of speech in town, and I decided to go and uh, go to the meet and greet and get some stuff from him. So uh, I just thought I'd show you what's up with this, and I also have a little announcement at the end of this uh, vlog, so stay tuned so you can hear everything that's going on. First thing I got was uh, 50 million Pearls fans can't be wrong. Uh, the Toonzeum was giving away a copy of a book to everybody, so this is the one I got. Stefan signed it with a little picture of Rat included there. So I got this. It's about, I'm guessing about a year's worth of Pearls cartoons, maybe a little more. A little later I also picked up this bigger collection, Pearls Blows Up. I didn't get this one signed, but I like this one because you might be able to see it here in one of these panels. Um, there's commentary included beneath a lot of the strips, so it's nice to see how a cartoonist thinks and give a little insight into the way he works. I also, you may have seen this in some of the older episodes, picked up a signed print of one of the older Pearls Before Swine Sunday strips that focuses on a game between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Baltimore Ravens, which is why they were giving out this particular one in Pittsburgh. And last but not least, I got a new little friend to hand on my shelf here. I got a stuffed plushie of Larry the Croc that Stefan also signed. Gave me a little uh, tattoo on Larry's belly. So he'll be staying right up there on the shelf with me. And that is everything I got at the Tunzeum. I also uh, recorded some stuff while you're there, so uh, you can take a look at that right now. It's playing, and hope you guys enjoy. Hey everybody, uh, John Weber here. I'm actually on a wee bit of a tiny, tiny little road trip. I'm here in Pittsburgh, PA, outside of the Toonzeum, which is host to all sorts of collections of uh, newspaper comics and comic books and animated uh, drawings, all sorts of stuff from Disney and uh, Pixar and a whole bunch of other great guys. And Stefan Pastis, the author and cartoonist behind Pearls Before Swine, is here tonight doing a meet and greet and a sign, so I thought I'd meet him and get some stuff signed. Let's head on in. So I just met Stefan Pass, this dude's awesome, really friendly, really nice, really casual. Um, he's got a lot of his art up here on the walls at the Tunisium. Um, I'll show you actually here in a minute, he's actually donating one to charity in a silent auction, so I'll show you that one in a minute. I wish I had the money for it, because it's perfect for me, it's making fun of uh, cartoon critics. But I've only got two dollars on me, so congratulations to whoever the lucky winner is in that. You recognize this? Yeah, that's the animated one that was on the Ringtails YouTube channel. I put it in the video. Are these the original prints here? These are the original, the original drawings, right. Yeah, they're not prints, they're actually the original. These are the, these are the original ones that he drew, okay. So, yeah, this, this is the real deal. This is the authentic one here. So, yeah, they apparently made a Beetle Bailey comic book at one time. This is something I, uh, I did not know about. This was made in 1992, and it just features a little Beetle Bailey storyline about Beetle trying to get out of work with Sarge, and there are a couple other ones in here. It's not bad, it's about the typical Beetle Bailey stuff. So guys, I'm here at the Museum with the Executive Director. Sir, thank you so much for hosting this event. It was my pleasure, so nice to have you guys here. We wouldn't Absolutely. exist if it wasn't for the fans. All right, so uh, tell them a little bit about this place. Where can they find it? When's it open? Well, the Museum is Pittsburgh's Museum of Cartoon Art. It's one of only three museums in the country dedicated to cartoons. We're at 945 Liberty Avenue in downtown Pittsburgh's Cultural District.
All right, awesome. Thank you so much for hosting the event. All right, and you can check us out online at tunesium.org. Yeah, there's a great website too. Uh, guys, if you're ever in Pittsburgh, seriously, check this place out. They got uh, comic strips, they got cartoons, they got anime, manga, they got like everything here. Give it a look, it's an awesome place. See ya. Thank you. All right, guys, there's one other thing I need to tell you. I'm afraid it's a bit of bad news, but I want to keep you guys informed so you still know what's going on. I just landed a job with a movie production company here in Ohio, and I'm helping them out on set almost every single day of the week. It's an awesome job. I'm loving it, but I'm working about 12 to 14 hours a day and dragging my butt home at 3 a.m. This leaves me pretty much no time and no energy to put into the punchline. So the punchline is going to be taking a bit of a hiatus until about mid-August when movie production wraps up and I figure out exactly what's going on after then. Until then though, I don't want to leave you guys completely uh, stranded and dry without any content for me to give you. So if you follow my Twitter account, I will put up my daily thoughts and tweets about the comic strips that I read in my newspaper each and every day. So you can still get a little bit of content from me in the meantime. And once the punchline starts, I'll still probably keep that going. So. Uh, follow me on Twitter for all those updates, and I will see you guys in mid-August once filming finishes up. Thanks for watching, and thanks for all your support.